Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about spatial data relationships. Spatial data relationships is the second section under the Geospatial Data Fundamentals category of the GISCI Geospatial Core Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with section 202, Spatial Data Relationships. Tobler's First Law of Geography. Tobler's First Law of Geography states that everything is related to everything else, but near things are more related than distant things. This law is the foundational concept for spatial data relationships. Topology. Topology are rules about how point, line, and polygon features share geometry. Topology can reduce file size by recording shared lines or points only once. Topology usually consists of rules about adjacency, connectivity, and enclosure. Topological relationships. Topological relationships are spatial relationships that characterize the relative position of spatial objects. Topological relationships include equals, disjointed, intersects, touches, contains, covers, covered by, within, crosses, and overlaps. Equals. Equals is when two features are topologically equal. Disjointed. Disjointed is when two features have no point in common. They form a set of disconnected geometries. Intersects. Intersects is when two features have some common interior points. Touches. Touches is when two features have at least one boundary point in common, but no interior points. Contains. Contains is when feature B is within feature A. Covers. Covers is when every point of feature B is a point of feature A. Covered by. Covered by is when every point of feature A is a point of feature B. Within. Within is when feature A is within feature B. Crosses. Crosses is when feature A crosses feature B. Overlaps. Overlaps is when feature A and feature B have common interior points. Topology rules. Topological rules model spatial relationships between features or between feature classes. The most popular program for modeling topological relationships in GIS is the ArcGIS GeoDatabase. These are the standard topological rules used in a geodatabase. Polygon topology rules include must not overlap. With this rule, polygons must not overlap within a feature class. Polygons can touch at a point along the edge. 
must not have gaps. With this rule, polygons must not have a void between them in a class. Contains point. With this rule, each polygon must contain a point of another feature class. Contains one point. With this rule, each polygon must contain exactly one point of another class. Must be covered by feature class of. With this rule, polygons must be covered by polygons of another feature class. Boundary must be covered by. With this rule, polygon boundaries must be covered by lines of another feature class. Must not overlap with. With this rule, polygons must not overlap polygons of another feature class. Must be covered by. With this rule, polygons must be covered by a single polygon from another feature class. Area boundary must be covered by boundary of. With this rule, the boundaries of polygons must be covered by the boundaries of polygons in another feature class. Must cover each other. With this rule, polygons in two feature classes must cover each other. Line topology rules include must be larger than cluster tolerance. With this rule, vertices that fall within the cluster tolerance are defined as coincident and snapped together. Must not have pseudonodes. With this rule, the end of a line cannot touch the end of only one other line. This rule is used in hydrologic analysis. must not have dangles. With this rule, the end of a line must touch another line in its feature class or itself. Must not self overlap. With this rule, lines can't overlap themselves or have two common connected vertices. Must not overlap. With this rule, lines can't overlap any line in their feature class or have two common connected vertices. Must not self-intersect. With this rule, lines can't cross or overlap themselves. Must not intersect. With this rule, lines can't cross any other line in their feature class. Must not intersect with. With this rule, lines must not cross any line in another feature class. Must be single part. With this rule, lines must be one series of connected segments. Must be covered by feature class of. With this rule, lines must be coincident to other lines in another feature class. Must not intersect or touch interior. With this rule, lines can only touch at their ends and must not overlap each other within a feature class. This rule is used for lot lines. must not intersect or touch interior with. With this rule, lines can only touch at their ends and must not overlap lines in another feature class. Must be covered by boundary of. With this rule, lines must be covered by lines in another feature class. must not overlap with. With this rule, lines cannot overlap 
or have common connecting vertices to any part of a line in another feature class. Endpoint must be covered by. With this rule, the endpoints of lines must be covered by points in another feature class. Point topology rules include must coincide with. With this rule, points must be coincident with points in another feature class. Must be disjoint. With this rule, points cannot overlap within the same feature class. Must be covered by endpoint of. With this rule, points must be covered by the endpoints of lines in another feature class. Point must be covered by line. With this rule, points must be covered by lines of another feature class. must be properly inside. With this rule, points must be inside polygons of another feature class. Must be covered by boundary of. With this rule, points must touch boundaries of polygons of another feature class. Those are the standard topology rules that are pre-programmed into the GeoDatabase. Other topology rules can be created by programmers. Other topology terms include adjacency. Adjacent features share a common boundary or touch each other. Contiguity. Contiguous features are connected or share a border. In a map, contiguity represents areas that are physically touching. Overlap. Overlapping features occupy the same space. Proximity. Proximity refers to how close features are to each other. Spatial joins. Spatial joins connect or join data based on their spatial relationship. For instance, associating census data with administrative boundaries. A network. A network is an interconnected set of points and lines that represent routes. Networks are also known as geometric networks and network data sets. Co-location analysis. Co-location analysis examines local patterns of spatial association between two categories of point features. Co-location analysis quantifies how often certain features occur together in proximity. This is the end of what I've included in section 202, Spatial Data Relationships. You'll find more about spatial data relationships in other sections of the study material. See section 603, Understanding of Analytical Operations and Methods, and section 605, Knowledge of Descriptive and Spatial Statistics, for more on spatial data relationships. Now you know everything I learned about spatial data relationships to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISB exam.